Welcome to this video in which we will show you how to export your WooCommerce products to Google Sheets. We are going to create immediate and scheduled exports, which can be run once, at recurring intervals, or can include real-time synchronization from WordPress to Google Sheets only, or bi-directionally. For this, we will use the WooCommerce plugin, the WooCommerce Products Spreadsheet by WP Sheet Editor, and the Google Sheets Sync service provided by WP Sheet Editor. This service allows you to automate your WordPress content management using Google Sheets. You can export and import content between your WordPress site and your Google Sheets account automatically. It works with all WP Sheet Editor spreadsheets, so you can export and import products, orders, customers, coupons, and hundreds of other post types added by WordPress plugins. It also recognizes fields added by other plugins like multilingual plugins, custom field plugins, etc. One major advantage of this synchronization service with Google Sheets is that you don't need to install browser extensions or run any scripts. It's all done from your WordPress site without having to program anything. After installing the necessary plugins and extensions, the first thing we need to do is to connect our website to our Google account, the Google API and the WP Sheet Editor API. To do this, let's start by opening the WooCommerce product spreadsheet. Now let's go to the Google Sheets connection tool and let's connect this WordPress site to our Google Sheets account. We need to check these permissions, which allow WP Sheet Editor to access the files in your Google account which are created with our service only. We will not access other files that were not created with our application, so rest assured that your privacy is crucial to us. With these simple clicks, we have connected this WordPress site to our Google account, the Google API and the WP Sheet Editor API. Let's see how to export all WooCommerce products to Google Sheets. To do this, let's open the export tool. We will export all the product fields. Here we need to select Google Sheets. And let's enter a name for this export. Finally, we need to click on export and a Google Sheet will be created in our account. We can open it by clicking here. As you can see, all the products and their data have been exported to Google Sheets with one click. If you don't want to export all products, you can export the products from a specific search or the products you select manually. For example, let's search for all products within the clothing category. In addition, these products must have a price of $100 or higher. You can see that 15 products were found, so let's export them to Google Sheets. Here we already have the pre-selected values from the previous export, and the number of products has been updated automatically. We just have to click export and a new Google Sheet will be created with the products our search returned. In this case, we have exported 15 products, but if we want to export specific products, we can select them manually. In this example, we are going to select 5 products and export them to a new Google Sheet. In the export tool, make sure that the products to be exported are the ones we have manually selected. And as you can see, we have generated a new Google Sheet with the selected products only. If you don't want to export your products right now, you can schedule an automatic export to run at a later date and time. Automatic exports will run in the background, without the need for you to be connected to your site. When it is complete, you will receive an email notifying you that the process has been completed. In this example, we are going to export all the active columns and all the products. Let's select Google Sheets and add a name for our scheduled export. We need to tick this checkbox and then select the date and time we want the export to run. We also need to add an email address to receive an email notification when the auto export process is complete. Finally, we need to select the run once option and click on export. By doing this, a scheduled job will be created and we can see its details in the scheduled exports pop-up. This pop-up allows us to see all the details of this scheduled job. 
In addition, we can view and download the log file to understand what is happening at each step of the process. If we don't want to wait for the export to run automatically on the selected date and time, we can run it manually. And we can also pause or cancel this scheduled job, as well as edit it to change its details. Finally, we can archive or delete this scheduled job. We have scheduled one export only, but we can have multiple exports, imports, or bulk changes scheduled and running simultaneously. As you can see, our scheduled export has been executed, so the process has been finished. This means that an email has been sent to the email address we entered when creating the scheduled export. This email contains details of our export and a link for us to open the Google Sheet that has been generated. Here we can see all the products with their data in Google Sheets. Keep in mind that if you don't want to export all the products, you can run a search or select the products manually as we showed you in the previous section of this video. Our Google Sheets Sync service also allows you to schedule recurring exports. This means that we can select a frequency or recurrence in which we want our products to be exported. We can export them every a certain number of minutes, hours, days, weeks, or months. Recurring exports will generate a new Google Sheet every time a recurring interval is exported. In this example, we are going to export all the columns and all the products. Here let's select Google Sheets and add a name for this recurring export. Now let's tick this checkbox and select the date and time we want our recurring export to start running. Let's add an email address here and select the recurring export option. Here we can select the number and in this drop down we can select the time unit. In this example, we are going to select minutes to export the products every 5 minutes to a new Google Sheet. Finally, let's click export and it will be scheduled and added to the list of scheduled exports. When our export is run, we will receive an email notifying us that the process has been run. Here we can open the first Google Sheet that has been generated with our recurring export. When the time for the new recurring interval comes, a new Google Sheet will be generated. It's important to note that each new recurring interval will export all rows, both the existing rows and the new rows we've added since the last export. For now, we are going to apply some changes to our products so that you can see that the new data will be reflected in the next export. We are going to edit our product titles and their prices. Now it's just a matter of saving the changes and waiting for the next recurring interval to run. When the new recurring interval runs, we will receive a new email with the details of the export and the link for us to open the new Google Sheet that has been generated. As you can see here, the product titles reflect the changes we've applied since the last export. Also, product prices have been updated. Recurring exports are great if you want to automatically generate new Google Sheets with the latest data from your products. You can create backup copies periodically. Recurring exports can also be incremental. This means that each recurring interval that is exported will add only the new products to the same Google Sheet generated in the first export. Therefore, changes to existing products will not be exported, nor will a new Google Sheet be generated on each export. To create an incremental export, we need to select the same values as a recurring export, but we need to tick this checkbox. When our incremental export runs, we will receive an email with the link to the Google Sheet that's been generated. As you can see here, we have exported 107 products. Now we are going to add some new products so that they are added to the same Google Sheet in the next export. We are going to create 5 copies of this product using the spreadsheet. Also, we will add a new product using the normal product editor.
If we go back to the product spreadsheet, we'll see that the new product we've added appears here, along with the copies we added with the duplicate tool. Now we can see that the new products have been added to the Google Sheet automatically. Remember that new products will be added in the next export, which will run according to the selected recurrence. Incremental exports are great if you plan to add new products and you won't be editing the data of the existing products, but want your Google Sheet to automatically update with the new products. Now let's see how to add real-time synchronization between WooCommerce and Google Sheets. First, we are going to create a real-time export from WordPress to Google Sheets only. This means that the changes we apply on WordPress will automatically be exported to Google Sheets in real time. For this, we need to open the export tool. We are going to export all the fields of our products, and here we are going to select Google Sheets. Now we are going to add a name for our real-time export. Let's select the date and time we want this real-time export to run. Let's add an email address to receive an email notifying us that the export is complete. Finally, let's select the real-time sync option. In this case, we are going to automatically export from WordPress to Google Sheets, and we are going to use the product ID as a parameter to match the rows. Once the export is complete, we can go to our email to find the link to the generated Google Sheet. Now let's go to WordPress and apply some changes to our products. Let's apply some changes using the spreadsheet. We are also going to edit a product using the normal WooCommerce editor. If we review our real-time exports log, we will see that the changes have been detected and will be automatically exported to Google Sheets. The changes that we have applied on WordPress have been automatically exported to Google Sheets. The product titles have been updated. Also, the product prices have been updated in the Google Sheet. Real-time synchronization from WordPress to Google Sheets is the best way to keep a Google Sheet with your product data always up to date. You don't have to manually export or wait until the next interval, as you do with recurring exports. The data will be automatically detected and exported when you save the changes, either in the spreadsheet or using the normal WooCommerce editor. Also, changes applied to your products by other plugins are recognized and exported automatically. Finally, let's see how to create an export with bidirectional synchronization. By synchronizing WordPress and Google Sheets in real time, the changes we apply on WordPress will be automatically exported to Google Sheets, and the changes we apply in Google Sheets will be automatically imported into WordPress. In this bidirectional export, we are going to export all our product fields. Here we need to select Google Sheets, and then add a name for this export. Now let's select the date and time we want the real-time export to run. Let's select the real-time sync option and change this option to bidirection. By default, we use the product IDs to match the data on WordPress with the data in Google Sheets. However, for best results in bidirectional synchronization, we recommend you to avoid using IDs as identifiers. Using IDs can cause complications when creating new rows in Google Sheets, as these new rows will not have IDs. Additionally, it can limit the ability to import the same Google Sheet across multiple WordPress sites, as each site uses different IDs. Instead, we recommend using alternative identifiers such as titles, URL slugs, emails, usernames, SKUs, or other unique values that make it easier to match data across multiple sites. In this example, we will use the product SKUs. Now that we have scheduled our bidirectional export, we just need to wait until the export is complete. 
As you can see here, the export will run in two minutes. After the export is complete, we will get an email notifying us that the export has been run. This email will contain the link to open the Google Sheet that has been generated. Besides, bidirectional exports create an import to automatically monitor changes in the Google Sheet to import them into WordPress. If we now apply changes to our products on WordPress, whether using the spreadsheet, the normal editor, or third-party plugins, these changes will be automatically exported to our Google Sheet. As you see here, the changes we just applied on WordPress have been exported to Google Sheets automatically. Now we will apply changes to our products on Google Sheets so that they are automatically imported into WordPress. Something important is that we allow a delay time so that you can finish applying all the necessary changes in your Google Sheet and thus avoid importing incorrect information. This delay time can range from 15 minutes to 12 hours. You can change it in the plugin settings. When the delay time passes, we will receive an email notifying us that the changes have been automatically imported from Google Sheets to WordPress. And as you can see here, our products have been edited correctly based on the values we edited in Google Sheets. Bidirectional real-time exports are great for automating the management of our WooCommerce products using Google Sheets. Any change that we apply to either side will be automatically applied to the other side, without us having to manually create exports and imports. As you've seen in this video, you can easily sync WooCommerce and Google Sheets and export your products directly to your Google Sheets account, using our Google Sheets Sync service, together with our WooCommerce products spreadsheet plugin. You can schedule one-time exports, recurring exports, and add real-time synchronization to automate your product's management using Google Sheets. You'll find more information about the service as well as written tutorials for each type of export by following the links in the description of this video.